next application of operation amplifier is a precision rectifier here we are dealing with precision half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier see this rectifier is based on op amp so it is an active rectifier that means it is able to amplify the input also so other than the rectification application it is doing amplification also already you have studied rectifiers using diodes uh, half wave and full wave in your electronic circuit that is not active rectifier it will only rectify your input signal as here you are using an op amp in the rectifier circuit it is capable of amplification also so now first we will deal with half wave rectifier see this is the circuit schematic for the half wave rectifier here you are applying a sinusoidal input see positive booth it is having positive half cycle and negative half cycle what you are expecting from a half wave rectifier only half part of the signal will be passed the rest half will be rejected so you will get at the output this output half wave will be there at the output the negative half cycle will be cut now we will see how it operates see here your applied input vi is this this is vi now what happens during the positive half cycle during the positive half cycle that is from the point a to b what happens that time just see what configuration is your op amp your op amp is connected in inverting configuration plus input terminal is grounded so you are applying your input to the minus terminal so it is connected in the inverting configuration so when a positive voltage i am applying over here output on here just i will mark this output as a va output will be expected to be negative see in this va there is no feedback only a diode feedback so you are getting an output something like a minus voltage so positive voltage is the input as it is inverting configuration va will be negative in this case va will be negative in this case see here when a negative voltage comes what about diode d2 diode d2 should be off because positive is connected to the side so negative voltage comes here means diode d2 should be reverse biased reverse biased so it should be off if diode d2 is reverse biased you will not get any output so from a to b point your output will be equal to zero so a to b your output will be equal to zero now we will see what happens during the negative half cycle so negative half cycle now from b to c b to c it will come here this is uh, b and this is c b to c what happened that time during the negative half cycle negative half cycle va will come as inverting configuration so va will come as positive if va voltage at this point is positive diode d2 will be on so it is forward biased now your diode is forward biased so what is the output voltage so output voltage you will get the same thing but it is in the inverting terminal so reversed minus into this so you will be having a gain factor of uh, this is r2 that is a feedback this is r1 so minus r2 by r1 into your vi so that will be getting here so minus r2 by r1 both are 10 means same voltage will come over here so that is in the negative half cycle 
diode D2 will be forward bias so it will transfer the voltage over here you will be getting output as minus R2 by R1 into VI1 and diode D1 will be reverse biased so actually during the negative half cycle of the input current flow towards the direction see diode R is towards the direction of V out towards the direction of V out now I'll show you the results here this is your V input say the maximum voltage is Vm now V output will be this here this voltage should be equal to minus Rf by R1 into minus Rf by R1 into Vi V input now Va Va means voltage at uh, this point see out the exact output of your op amp during the positive half cycle if you are seeing that as the diode is of this point this voltage point means there is no feedback here only a diode is provided no resistance so you will be getting a negative saturation voltage minus vss actually that is uh, almost equal to your supply voltage this voltage is quite high now during the next half cycle negative half cycle you will get this one the sine wave at the output so there is a there is a time delay will take a time delay will be there from this point to this point it should come so that is actually not good so in order to reduce this time delay we are providing that is minus vss to 0 volt we, we are adding the diode d1 here so that the voltage is now reduced to 0.7 so instead of minus vss the voltage is now reduced to 0 0.7 voltage so now to the next half cycle from 0 0.7 it is going it's quite easy compared to minus vss it is minus 0 0.7 okay minus 0 0.7 that is the diode voltage only only the diode reverse voltage will be coming for voltage drop will be coming there so that is about your precision half wave rectifier now we will move to the precision full wave rectifier precision full wave rectifier so this is the schematic of a precision full wave rectifier see this part you must be familiar the first part is something is same as that of your half wave rectifier now what is this this is the circuit is very much familiar to you this is nothing but a summer so this part is a summer so when you are adding a precision half wave rectifier and a summer you will get a precision full wave rectifier so this is the input as we are provided to the half wave rectifier and this is the point of the output of this half wave rectifier say V01 and you are getting the output of half wave rectifier this one as I discussed you early and now when you are giving this to a summer this signal along with your input you are giving a summer you will get the full wave output of so that is a precision full wave rectifier now we will see the detailed operation of a precision full wave rectifier so the voltage at this point as I told you it is the V01 that is given like this and this is a summer this part alone is a summer so what is the output so summer output V output should be equal to it is inverting plus input is grounded so minus now what is R of here 20 so 20 kilo divided by 10 kilo 
what is the input over this point it is v out 1 v 0 1 now plus uh, this is r of is 20 kilo divided by 20 kilo v i so that you can write as 10, 10 20 by 10 you will be getting as 2 so it is 2 v 0 1 plus v i so it is nothing but minus 2 v 0 1 plus v i so now I will draw each waveform so that you will understand how you are getting the V out as a full wave output. So I will just note down the output over here at this point. V out should be equal to what we got now is 2 V01 plus V i. Now if I am drawing the each waveform just my drawing is not that good with this pen so please cooperate what is this this is the input vi the peak value of the input is vm minus peak say minus vm now what is the output you are getting v01 So V01 during the negative half cycle you will be getting the output this is V01 that is from the half wave rectifier. So say this is minus sorry plus Vm and this is your V01. Now what is 2 as this point you can see 2 V01 so I am just mark drawing 2 V01. So this become double. So this is nothing but two times V. Now when I am adding the input V i and 2 times V0 1 what I will get at the output 2 V0 1 plus V i so I should add this waveform and this waveform so this one plus 0 I will get 0 fine this one plus this this is minus V m this is plus 2 V m so I will get Vm here this is Vm this is 0 so I will get, get same Vm this is minus Vm this is plus 2 Vm so I will get Vm again so I will get output like this so all are Vm Sorry, the drawing is, I know it looks very bad, but I hope that you are understanding this. Now, what is your output? Actual output is minus of this. So, you will be getting, this is plus. Now, your V output should be equal to minus 2 V01 plus VI. That is the minus of those things. Just I should invert it. So, that is the output of your precision full wave rectifier the voltage become minus v so this is the output of precision full wave rectifier hope that it's clear to you thank you